so it's a special day it's the last day of school we're gonna pick them up in sports cars nice hat Thanks. are you ready was absolutely we're making their day we're making their last day of school memorable which is kind of what it's all about i never had this as a kid i never got picked up with a car at school i either walked home or as i got older i went home on a bicycle and never got picked up in a car and definitely never got picked up in a sports car all right so i feel for you guys that have to do this every day and sit in this line the line is long already it's out to the road people are sitting here waiting for them to be called i don't think they get out till three it's 2 54 right now so we've been here for about 10 minutes look for the kid that's the most excited and starts waving i don't see him yet oh there he is it's pajama day by the way all right there's my little dude right there hey buddy hey dad how are you you ready? Uh huh. All right. Where do we put this? Let's put it in the back. Okay. Can you reach it up in there? Wow, what have you got in that thing? A blanket. Oh. A blanket. Oh. All right. Ready? You want to do some filming? Um, put your seatbelt on. You can hold the camera and we'll film on the way to the shop. Is she excited? Was you surprised? Uh-huh. There you go. Hang on to that. Point out the window. Pick it right here and I'll go by the S and you can film out the window so we can get a little bit of footage of that car. Right here. Convertible hair. Was that not the best ever? Oh, it's got. It's just Whoa, got, you're not eating that in the car. Is that food? Oh, no. Ooh, you're not eating that in there, are you? Santa Claus gave me it. Okay. It's a Santa Claus. Okay, I thought that. I thought that looked like a big sticky yucky lolly thing that was getting wiped all over the place. Okay, what is it? It's an eraser. Oh, all right. I'll let you go then. That is pretty cool. What are you making that for? Boots. For Bruce? Is it like a special card? No, it's a Wayne deal. Oh, it is. You drew that? Mm-hmm. That is so cool. So, I have oh, to... You're going to cut that out and give it to him? Mm-hmm. Do not tell him. I won't. I'm not going to tell him anything. It's Rudolph! Rudolph! I know. I'm going to flip him up. Thank you. I cut baby. him out. You did a great Look job that. cutting him out. She drew him all by herself. That's so awesome. He's got some antlers too, man. That is some really big antlers. What do they call it He's when they have so many points? Like yeah, uh, this is a good uh, big uh, four, uh, five six point, point buck, it's five. whatever. It's five point. Yeah. And I and I got I I put my name. I see and, that. And I put holes on the feet. Of... All right, super busy day. We're still trying to get finished for Christmas. Trying to get people's cars done. As you see behind me, a ton of cars piled up. We typically don't like to work on more than one car at a time, but a couple of cars are from out of state and it takes longer for them to arrange transport. So two of these are definitely getting picked up today. One of them might be getting picked up today. We have this one to finish. We're doing a video on that one, but we just have to finish bleeding the coolant system and set the brakes, basically put like an initial brake in on the brakes so that the brakes feel decent when the customer leaves. And of course, just check everything over. And then we have a good customer that's a returning customer. We're gonna oil change two of his cars. He's bringing them, he's gonna be here in 20 minutes. So let me rearrange these cars, get them pulled outside, get them ready for the customers to pick up, get the other car in to do their oil change. So just an update on the S2000. One of the next things we're gonna do is change the tires, refinish the wheels, do the brakes, do the suspension. 
Well, one of the things that we've done in the past, I haven't talked about it, but adding wheel spacers gives the car a little bit more of an aggressive look, pushes the wheels out, and also gives it a lower look. So you don't have to lower quite as much if you use a spacer. So if you look at it right here, the tires sink in quite a bit. Now from what I've been seeing, there's a lot of spacers on eBay and a lot of you know spaces that I wouldn't trust. These are the ones I've used in the past. H&R, very good quality parts. So the only problem I found with the S2000 is they make a 15 millimeter for the back, which is this one right here. And I found 15 millimeter is about perfect until you roll the fenders. Well, they make a 15 for the back, but the front they only make a 20, which is this one right here. So what I'm gonna do, because I know the 20 is gonna be too much for the front, I wanna make it a 15. So I'm gonna take this spacer to my CNC guy. We're gonna press out the studs first, and then I'll show you this real quick. One of the studs is loose, I'll show you what it looks like. We're gonna counter bore it a little bit deeper and take five millimeters off the backside to make it a 15 millimeter spacer. And again, I don't know why they don't offer it as a 15, I'm not sure. So I just pressed this stud out. It sits in there, it has a knurling on here that presses into the aluminum here. And as you see from that angle, it's got plenty of room to go in. The knurling only goes in about halfway. I don't know if you can see that. So what I'm going to do is this here, the depth, as long as the bolt is below the surface here, then we can machine this off. I think this extra cut here is just so it doesn't build up a rust or an electrolysis between it. Um, I'll probably have him put that back in it just so it looks like the factory. But these studs, the h &R studs, they're, as you see, they're a 10.9. They're a good quality hardware and the nuts that they supply are also a good quality part. So if you haven't seen these before, they bolt to the hub. You gotta make sure they're perfectly flat, clean off any rust behind the hub so these sit down nice and flat. You're gonna use the included lugs to bolt onto your factory. So I've seen this a lot in the past. Depend on your wheel, you might have to drill the backside of the wheel because when this goes on, let's say, let's say this is the hub and this is your spacer, when you put these on and you run the nut down there, you'll see this thread sticks out a little higher and if the wheel doesn't have a cutout for it, when the wheel touches this, it's not gonna sit flat. Well, the AP2 wheels, I know have the cutout. I'm not sure about the V3 wheels, but I have had the backside of the wheel drilled to clearance this just in case. So let's go ahead and take these over to my guy. I wanna get him to drill this down uh, about five millimeters and cut five millimeters off that and then press these back in but again these are hub centric these are an absolute perfect fit for the wheels the wheel sits on here absolutely perfect the cutout here by the way is deep enough for the hub on the factory ones to come in without protruding into here that's something to look for i did measure that so that's my solution if you know of a good 15 millimeter front and back spacer, go ahead and post it below. I didn't see any that I trust. There's a bunch of no-name brands. I don't want to use that. The H&R, I know are good. We've used these many times. I've known customers use these for years. Some of the best ones on the market. So that's the ones we're going to go with on this particular project. All right, so easiest way to press these out is to put the nut on here, run it all the way down so it's flush to the end of the stud or as close as you can. And then on the back side, use a socket that is larger than that, but obviously it's got enough surface on here so not to mark up. This aluminum, just use your vise. We have a press, but I'm gonna show you it on the vise just to show you how easy it is. So I'm gonna insert this in the vise. I'll make sure it's lined up right here. And you should be able to just bring it down nice and easy. There you go, that'll pop out with no drama, no damage to the thread. You see the thread's still nice. 
let's see how much recess we have. I'm just gonna show you this so we have it before. I'm gonna take them over to the CNC shop right now. These are anodized. As you see, I marked them a little bit with a socket, which doesn't really matter because they're gonna get resurfaced. I don't know if we should anodize those again or paint them because I want to do them black. So maybe I'll have these stripped and done black just so they're all matching and they're not going to, you know, stand out. But you see how much we have right here. So we want to cut whatever we cut off here, we'll cut off here. So I'll get them to counterbore at five millimeters, cut five millimeters off the surface. Let's do this one and then I'll go over to the CNC shop, drop them off. This one is the 15 millimeter. This is the one from the back, and this is the one from the front, the 20 millimeter. Now I know I'm only cutting five millimeters. Somebody's going to say, "Why don't you just roll the fenders or camber them in?" Um, I'm going for a certain look. I don't want the cambered look. I don't want to roll the fenders unless I have to. So it looks like I might be better cutting it off the front because, as you see, the taper looks the same. And it might be the reason they're doing it for the cut of the wheel. As you see, the nut sinks in all the way here. But on the 15 millimeter one, it sits a little higher. So to keep that cone the same and having that little bit of flat, uh, the little bit of straight section right here, if we was to cone, if we was to cut the back and lose that, it might weaken the spacer around that cone area. So. I want to show my CNC guy, uh, Craig, he knows what he's talking about. He's going to look at this and know the solution right away. But I'm thinking we need to cut off this surface. So big thank you to my friend Steve. Let me turn this the right way up. He hooked me up and managed to get me an iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is the first time I bought a new phone in four and a half years. My last phone went four and a half years. I put a battery in it, if you remember me whining about it. I put a battery. Other than that, the phone was absolutely rock solid. I used it every single day. I think in four and a half years, it crashed three times. And that is because I tend to just run a whole bunch of things open at the same time. I, I should close the apps when I don't need them. I tend to just get lazy. The iPhone handles it so well. You tend to just leave them all open and let it do its thing. So he did some kind of deal. He switched from, I think, AT&T to T-Mobile and he got a much better deal. He got some kind of deal on two iPhones. He got a deal he had to trade in a couple of phones. Well, he asked me, do I still want a phone? Do I want to buy it? I said, yeah, I just can't see spending the money that they want to buy it outright. Well, he traded in a phone and basically give me the phone at his cost. So I got a heck of a deal. So thank you. Thank you, Steve. I really appreciate it. We're heading to the CNC shop. I'm going to ask him about the S2. We're building the billet S tube for the Jackson Supercharger. We've basically designed our own. We have a lot of R&D has gone into this, a lot of flow analysis. We have our good friend Jeff has helped us with the design and he has a full animation of the flow characteristics of how the flow, how the numbers are affected, where it cavitates, all that kind of thing. So there's a lot of design gone into this and it is something I'm gonna be using on one of our builds next year so look for that if you're interested in the jackson racing supercharger it's going to be on one of our builds and of course the lht and a cooler some more lht goodies and as you see i'm wearing this uh, the hoodie that esther got us now when i say got us she made a bunch of them so george and i got a couple and eventually they're going to be in the online store if you like hoodies these are nice i'm super excited with these not sure exactly how much they're going to be i don't really know what she paid for them she just went and did it as a kind of a Christmas gift. So we'll find out more about that as we get there. But we're pulling up to our CNC shop here. I will talk to you in a minute. I'm not sure if he's gonna let me walk around and film. I don't blame him if he doesn't, but I, if I can, I will show you. But hopefully there is some updates on our S-tube and I've gotta get some more master cylinder brace pieces too. He builds these for us as well as some of the other LHT products. So we're still planning on early January to do the V8 swap in the Colorado, still driving the Colorado with a stock motor in. I uh, just spoke to Jared at Current Performance Wiring. He is uh, finishing up the harness in the next couple of days. He's got to do a bench test. There is a question on something to do with the fuel pump control 
uh, he thinks he has a solution. We're gonna know more once it's in there and we reprogram the ECU. Let me give you a quick update. So we just had Sean come over here and do a nice thorough color correction. It was already color corrected, but it's been sitting collecting dust. We washed it, had Sean go over it. Now it looks unbelievable. So quick tease, not so much of a tease, more of a visit preview of what's to come. We are gonna sell this car. I didn't have an immediate plan to sell it, build it. If you watch any of the series, you'll see that it did get extensive there's a lot of money got into this this isn't a twenty thousand dollar integra there is a handful of people ask me hey if you want to sell that thing for 10 grand i'll buy it if you know anything about building a car you'll know it's it is a lot into this car the paint is 10 grand so don't offer me 10 grand it's, it's not going to happen so i have had another good interest in party he wants it for the shell and he has offered me a lot of money for the shell but i don't want to sell it that way i think it really should sell complete just to recap these are factory oem honda jdm headlights these are ones i bought brand new in 2004 and saved them they are absolutely spectacular the jdm front of course is a quality jdm front oem hood it's not a hokey setup it fits perfect it lines up everything works the lights work like they should the engine is built let me show you it real quick so b series engine this is built using css sleeves pistons rods all new bearings all new seals new time belt new water pump new oil pump the whole deal brand new thermostat everything was built to make 600 horsepower even though we're making like 350 i didn't want to build a high horsepower car I want it to be more of a OEM plus build as it's been described. Cylinder head is a refreshed cylinder head, all Ferrer valve trains, valve springs, retainers, the whole deal, everything brand spanking new in there. Full titanium, intercooler piping, skunk manifold, seven millimeter throttle body. I mean, it's, it's built with no spared expense. Again, it's built to be more than needed. I never planned to make 600 horsepower, but it's built in the event it is needed or if it gets sold somebody wants to put a bigger turbo set up on it it will make more power a lot of special parts these power steering brackets were hand fabricated by me back in 2004 same as the mount down there the transmission front mount a lot of extra spe an integrador closed like this recently looks like brand new it sounds like brand new look at that everything is replaced everything that would rattle is redone wheels refinished new tires complete new brake system real quick i want to show you the exhaust on here full titanium exhaust twin loop exhaust everything looks spectacular so watch out for a future video we're going to do kind of a review on this car drive it show you around it tell you what's gone into it get some sound clips and then the full series i'm going to condense down to a 10 minute video for the you that don't want to watch hours and hours of content i'm going to knock it down to 10 minutes so stay tuned for that in the meantime we'll see you in the next video don't forget enjoy your cars